Good afternoon. It's always morning, but not today. Hope everybody's doing good. I want to show you a few things I've been doing on my free time, and I've had a little bit of that. Here's a painting of some flowers. You can see the stem here. All I did was take black construction paper, and it looks like some red, white, blue, yellow, definitely white, and I made circles. That's all I did, and I put dots of paint inside of the flowers, put petals, of course dots in the background fill up the space. That was pretty fun. Okay. That inspired me to take a canvas. It's a wooden frame. And it's stapled on. And this is what I came up with. Now, I'm not finished with this one. Still have room for more dots in the background. You can tell. Fill up space. But basically the same thing, it's just on a different um, background. Instead of paper, it's canvas. Okay. Uh, the next thing is, all right, so I painted this. So what I did here was I took a bunch of red and yellows and basically the primary colors, and I did a lot of little... Uh, what look like little rectangles or squares over the whole piece of paper. It's a little white piece of construction paper. All right. And once that dried, then I came back and I put these larger buildings. And then I put a line here and added my smaller buildings. And then I painted in behind the bigger buildings in black to make it look like either a street or a hillside. Okay, so these buildings are in the foreground. The road is in the middle ground. And then these buildings are in the background. Okay, now there is a little bit of sky, but not much. That's pretty cool, huh? That's fun. It's very simple, too. You could do this in crayon, no problem at all. Just take your crayons and, and cut a little squares or rectangles all over the whole page and come up with a black crayon. No big deal. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Then, of course, I have a form. Oh, look at my nice form here. Isn't that cool? Let me get closer. Okay, these are sequins. All right. Sequins can be bought for very cheap. Uh, here's a whole bag of them. And here's another bag of them so you can see what the what it says. Sequins and spangles. I bet you can get these at Walmart. Whole bag of them. Okay. So what I did is I took a cone, and you can make this with paper. This is a relatively heavy uh, piece of uh, cardboard. It's rolled up, pointed at the top, and hollow at the bottom, like a megaphone. Okay, that's what I took piece of aluminum you got this in the kitchen man all you got to do is go into the kitchen all right and then I put it like this I put it at the top so it wouldn't be too much at the top and a lot more at the bottom okay because all you have to do is fold it and it stays under in the heavier part the bigger part okay just roll it up and stuff it in there Make sure it's nice and smooth, okay, because you're going to put glue on it. Once you put your glue on there, and I, I kind of did it in a line, you can kind of tell that. 
I start out with one line. I just put some glue on there. And then I kind of turned it. And I put another line. And then I just started. I started at the bottom, sticking on my sequence. So they overlap, kind of like a roof. When, when someone's putting a roof on your house, they start at the bottom and they overlap the shingles. So when the water runs over the shingle, it doesn't go back under the shingle because you don't want water getting into your roof. It's not a good thing. Okay, so we had some overlapping of our sequins on our aluminum foil, which is on our cone. Let's say what? Form. These are forms. Okay. This is a shape. Look how flat it is. Okay. So, let's see. What else? Um, if you have paints, make sure you get a little plate. See this? I have a plate that I used for my paints. It's a little paper plate. So, when you're done, Toss it out, all right? And remember, no paint on the wall, no paint on the floor, or someone in your house is not going to be very happy. Okay? So, remember, you go out, put your mask on, wear goggles, swimmers, and you don't have to worry about it, okay? So, we will talk to you soon. Have a really good day.